I did some interviews and used them to build this questionnaire for my PhD. It asked mathematics lecturers and support staff about computer assessment. Here are the main findings based on majority views. E-assessment is better suited to routine work and to test recall, while traditional assessment is better suited to proof and mathematical argument, open-ended and project work. Speed of marking and prompt return of feedback to the student are reasons to consider using e-assessment. Lecturers do not have sufficient knowledge and skills to use e-assessment. Testing deeper knowledge with e-assessment requires greater levels of creativity, and writing mark schemes for e-assessment requires more thought. E-assessments must be adjusted to match the technology, and people can't assess everything they need to using computers. It is important for students to hand-write mathematics, and assessing by computer is not equivalent to handwritten mathematics, with difficulty inputting mathematical notation a particular problem. So e-assessment pros, let's put speed of marking, and I'm going to say randomization, uh, which allows retaking for practice and also plagiarism. On cons, you can't use it for everything, particularly for in-depth, open-ended work. It is hard to write questions for, particularly for greater depth, and the students are typing, not handwriting. The cons make using e-assessment quite expensive, but the pros are so very attractive. Being a stubborn sort of chap, I start to wonder if we can have something of the best of both. So I made this. Let's make a simple worksheet. This is just a very quick and not quite right example, uh, just to give you an idea of the possibilities. For example, in question two, I have y in terms of n, where I meant to use, well, not n, probably x. Uh, bits of LaTeX are put in dollar signs, and an at symbol is used to mark out certain of the constants, and I'll explain why in a second. Notice question 3 has an open-ended part that couldn't be answered by computer. Because they were marked with an at symbol, the system has recognised n, a, b, p, and q as constants to be randomised, and is asking for limits and a number of decimal places for that randomization. Obviously, the more in-depth and open-ended, the more randomised the questions, and the more time needed to mark. But we can do something about this with semi-automation. Here is the worksheet we made. The same constants can be accessed as in the question sheet, and basic calculations can be used. So you'll see I'm using star for multiplication, and the like. The idea is not necessarily to give full answers, but to give yourself enough information that you can more quickly mark the question. For example, for these questions, we can have the computer calculate the full answers for 1 and 2, and the numerical part of 3 can be given. Now the worksheet template is saved, and I can generate a set of worksheets. Arbitrarily, let's generate 30. Print these, and because there's a page break between each one, each appears on its own page. The worksheet template is saved, so you can generate new worksheet sets, and the sets are saved, so you can look up the answers later. Of course, that's not really using this to its full potential. What I need, really, is people who might be interested in testing this in situ this academic year. My questionnaire showed good numbers of people use computers, more than just for typesetting when setting and marking work, even those who don't use e-assessment. They generate examples and check their working when setting work, check student answers when marking, and use computers to input and keep track of marks. Perhaps you're one of them. The system still needs a little tweaking, and in doing so, I can make it suit your needs. Here is my email address. Please get in touch.